see some does in the field. We're about 150 yards west of where we were this morning. We got a good west wind right in my face blowing this way. Deer should be funneling from bedding area, a cut cornfield area, moving into an alfalfa field. I saw a big, big five by five in here. That's what we're gonna try to get. I think it's gonna be a good sit. It's warmed up a little bit, but that wind's gonna cool it down. So we're gonna sit tight. too much brush between me and him. If he moves right or left, we should be good. He's coming right in front of me. I can't shoot him right here. I'm going to let him slide past me. Shot him at 10, maybe 15 yards. He ran another 30. We tagged out South Dakota, baby. Awesome. Oh my gosh. That's unbelievable. We've been watching deer out there at two and 300 yards, thinking about shooting them. Then had him sneak in on us, come right out of the creek. This is awesome. You should never get tired of this. Well, the sun's starting to set, baby. I get to go down, get some hands on some horns. I'm going to load this hole and climb down. We still got about an hour of daylight. This is a first. Oh man, he didn't make it nowhere. Great buck here. Tell you what, I never shot a buck with a rifle at 10 yards and you only make it 30, but this is awesome. We saw about 100 deer today. Ruts on, deer's moving good. And I tell, he came in there, he's a mature deer. I tell you, I had to take him. I think the Lord gave him to me that close. It was unbelievable. We took a chance, changed stands, wind wasn't just right, but it played out perfectly. South Dakota rut, unbelievable rifle season. Can't beat this. 
The deer were everywhere. Unbelievable. Big bucks, South Dakota. Now I gotta get them tagged up and loaded up. We gotta get out of here. <laughs>